Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make dynamic menu and in that dynamic menu how to load dynamic content by using Ajax and PHP. We have already learned lots of exercise on load dynamic content with the help of Ajax with PHP. This is something different in which first we will make simple dynamic menu from data fetch from database and by using Ajax with PHP we will load dynamic content when we have click on particular menu title. If you have simple content based website and you do not want to add display sub page link on browser but you want to display content of that page then at that time this feature will helpful. In browser it will display only domain link and when we have click on any menu item then it will fetch data from database. Now let's start learning this things, this is my testing database and in this database we have one pages table with three table column like page head, page title and page description. In this table we have already inserted three page like home, about us and privacy policy with content. We will display this page title as menu and description as particular menu description. This is our index page and on this page we have used JavaScript library jQuery and Bootstrap framework. We will use functionality of both framework for making this things. First we want to make dynamic menu from that pages table, so first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from pages. This query will fetch data from this pages table. Then after we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Now we want to make menu. For making menu we have used bootstrap navigation bar, so we have copy bootstrap menu code from this page and paste on our web page. This is bootstrap navigation bar code this will generate menu. But here we want to generate dynamic menus so we have removed this code part and here we have write open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result to array and store into dollar row variable. Now we want to print dynamic menu. So we have write echo statement with open and close list tag. In list tag we have add one attributed and in the sit attribute we have store dynamic page id value which we have get from dollar row page id variable. Then after we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to hashtag and an anchor value we have write dollar row page title variable. This will make dynamic menu from data get from page table. Here we will use value of the sit attribute in query code for fetching particular page data from pages table. Below this navigation bar we have defined one span tag with attribute it is equal to page details. In this tag we will display dynamic content of particular page fetch from pages table. Friends here you can see that when page has been loaded then it display three menu on web page. This menu has been fetched from pages table page title column. Now we have moved to write query code. In this first we have write function load page details with argument id. This function will fetch particular page details from pages table and display under span tag with id page details. Under this function we have write ajax request and in ajax request first we have write first option url set to fetch.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method set to post. Here we have used post method for send data to server. 
In third option we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want sent to server can define in this option. Here we have send it variable data to server. And lastly in Ajax request we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request has been completed and it received data from server and store into this data argument. In this function will receive particular page details from pages table and now we want to display that page details like title and description on web page under span tag with id page details. So we have write dollar with span tag id page details with HTML method and under this method we have write data. So it will display data under the span tag. Now when page has been load, so at that time we want to display home page data on web page. So we have call load page details function and an argument we have write one which is in page id of home page. So when page has been loaded then this function will fetch home page details and display on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page for fetch particular page details from pages table. First on this page we have write if statement with set function with dollar posted variable argument. This condition will check if value of this variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code, otherwise no action will be performed. Suppose value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this first we have make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from pages table where page it is equal to dollar posted variable. This query will fetch particular page details from pages table. Then after we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. Now we have defined one dollar output variable is equal blank value. In this variable we will store page details in HTML format and send to Ajax request. After this we have write while with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result to PHP array and store into dollar row variable. Under this while loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like header one tag and between this tag we have write dollar row page title and in paragraph tag we have write dollar row page description variable. Both variable value has been fetched from pages table and store in dollar output variable. Now we want to send the value of this dollar output variable to Ajax request. So we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Value of this variable will be display on web page without refreshing of page. Now we have again move to index page query part. Here we have write dollar with nav class with list tag on click event with function. This is the menu class which we have make earlier. So when we have click on any menu on web page then this code has been executed. Under this code we have write dollar page id variable is equal to dollar this selector with attribute method and under this method we have write id attribute. So when we have click on any menu then that menu id will be fetched and store into this page id variable. Then after we want to fetch page details of that value of page id. So we have called load page details function and in function argument we have write dollar page id variable. So this function will fetch page details of particular page id and display on web page. So our code is ready. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends when page has been loaded in browser, we can see three menu on web page. 
Here home page content has been loaded on web page. Now we want to see the content of about us page. So we have click on about us page. Here when we have click on about us menu at load content of about us page from database without refreshing of web page and in browser it is not redirect page to about us page link. Same way we want to see the content of privacy policy page. So we have click on that menu and content of that page has been display on web page. In short if you want to make dynamic content based website and you do not want to index sub page of website and only index domain link then you can follow this tricks. It fetch data from database by using Ajax with PHP script without refreshing of page. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding this video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.